In this video, I'll show you all the basics of the ASP.NET MVC Pivot Grid extension. We'll add it to a project and go over its features. Start by creating a new MVC project using the DevExpress template gallery. Here, choose ASP.NET MVC Web Application and click Run Wizard. Select a standard layout, and here you can specify a default theme for all controls. Let's add some data. Select the model folder, right click, and add a new ADO.NET entity model. Enter the model name, Northwind, and click Add. Select Code First from the database model and click Next. Create a new connection. Select Microsoft SQL Server and click Continue. I've already created a local connection. We'll use the local SQL Server and select the Northwind database. Now, go ahead and choose the Invoices table. Select the Salesperson view, click Finish, and rebuild the project. The new Salesperson Model and Northwind Data Context classes are created. Let's add the Pivot Grid extension. Go to Views, Home, and open the index.cshtml file. This is the start page. Right click a place where you want to put the Pivot Grid extension and select the Insert DevExpress MVC extension item. Here, Select Pivot Grid Extension and add the previously created Salesperson Model Class and Northwind Data Context Class. Now I'll select seven columns Salesperson, Extended Price, Quantity, Order Date, Category Name, Product Name, and Country. Click Insert and the Pivot Grid is added. Let's run the app and take a look at the result. Our pivot grid displays fields at the top in the filter area. You can reorder fields and move them between areas using drag and drop. To populate the pivot grid with data, drag the category name field to the row area, extended price to the data area, and country and salesperson fields to the column area. You'll get a simple report that shows the extended price grouped by country and category of products. The Pivot Grid extension calculates data summaries instantly regardless of the operation. Note that the column area has two fields, country and salesperson. So the row headers that represent salespersons are grouped by country. This makes it easier to find a person in a particular category. You can collapse these groups to only see total values or expand them when you need details. You can sort values in ascending or descending order by clicking the field header. You can also sort them according to values in a specific row or column. To reset sorting, click the header again and select Remove All Sorting. To filter field values, click the Filter button in the field header. Now deselect some items and click OK. To cancel filtering, check Show All Items and click OK. End users can also build complex filter criteria using the Pivot Grid pre-filter. Add a new criteria. You'll need to choose a field, a condition, and then enter a value. I'll show only categories whose names start with C-O-N. To add a new condition, click the plus button. Filter data by country as well. Note that after the pre-filter is applied, the pre-filter panel appears. You can use this panel to temporarily disable the criteria, or you can bring up the pre-filter by clicking the expression. To clear the pre-filter, use the clear button. And that's it for this video. You can get more information by checking out our website and looking at our documentation online. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.